The sermon of the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, on the last Friday of Sha'aban regarding the holy month of Ramadan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. O people, indeed ahead of you is the blessed month of God, a month of blessing, mercy and forgiveness. A month with God which is the best of months, its days are the best of days, its nights are the best of nights and its hours are the best of hours. It is the month which invites you to be the guests of God and invites you to be one of those near to Him. Each breath you take is rewarded like His remembrance. Your sleep is worship, your deeds are accepted and your supplications are answered. So ask your Lord God with pure hearts to give you the opportunity to be able to fast and recite his book. For only he is unfortunate who is devoid of God's forgiveness during this great month. Remember the hunger and the thirst of the day of judgment through your hunger and thirst in this month. Give charity to the needy and the poor Honour the old, show kindness to the young, maintain relations with your blood relations, guard your tongues from that which is forbidden to say, close your eyes to that which is not permissible for your sight, close your ears to that which is forbidden to hear. Show compassion to the orphans of other people, so that compassion may be shown to your orphans. Repent to God for your sins and raise your hands in prayer during these times for they are the best of times and God looks towards his creatures with kindness replying to them during the hours and granting their needs if he is asked. O people, indeed your souls are dependent on your deeds. Free them with repentance. Lighten their loads through lengthy prostrations and know that God swears by his might that there is no punishment for the one who prays and fasts and he shall have no fear of the fire on the day when man stands before the Lord of the worlds. O people, one who gives a meal to a fasting person to God will be like the one who has freed a slave and his past sins will be forgiven. God gives this reward even if the meal is a drink of water. One who acts with good morals and manners during this month will be able to pass the bridge on the day that feet will slip. One who covers the faults of others, God, will take him through the day of judgment without any difficulties. And he who withholds his anger in this month, God will withhold his anger from him in the hereafter. And as for the one who honours an orphan, God will honour him on the day of judgment. And as for the one who spreads his kindness by visiting his relatives, God will spread his mercy over him on the day of judgment. And as for the one who cuts ties with his relation, God will cut his mercy from him. Whosoever performs a recommended prayer in this month God will keep the fire of hell away from him and whosoever performs an obligatory prayer, God will reward him with 70 prayers worth in this month. And whosoever prays a lot during this month will have his load lightened on the day of measure. He who recites one verse of the Holy Quran will be given the rewards of reciting the whole Quran during other months. O oh people, Indeed, during this month, the doors of heaven are open. Therefore ask God not to close them for you. The doors of hell are closed. So ask God to keep them closed for you. During this month, Satan is imprisoned. So ask your Lord not to let him have power over you.